Hi, my name is Barry Ferris, and this is a video about the evolution and the start of my company, Glacier Point Fountains. In 1975, through my work as a pharmaceutical salesman, met a wonderful gal and wound up marrying her. Smartest move I've ever made. She brought along with her a daughter from a previous marriage. About a year after we got married, I got a son. As it turns out, this woman really loved cats. This was her first cat, which she got for our daughter, Danielle. Love of cats went through the family. Every time we had a litter, you know, everybody grabbed their favorite cat. That was their cat. I guess that's just part of the deal when you've got more than one cat. I wasn't all that thrilled with cats at first. I kind of grew up as a dog guy. But then I ran across a couple of pictures when I was 12 years old, holding an arm full of kittens. So I guess I was introduced to cats a long, long time ago. So in 2007, life gave me a little dark cloud. My wife passed away. So I went to San Francisco to spend some time with a friend of mine. Happened to run into a veterinarian down there. I told her about what was going on and she said, well, get a dog or a cat. And I thought, well, it's not such a bad idea, except in San Francisco, there's no backyards. I had no place for a dog. And I told her that we'd had literally dozens of cats in our family. And it was one sad event after another. One by one, they all died of kidney disease. And I just didn't want to go through the drama or the expense of that again. And she said, well, kidney disease, well, that's easy to prevent. She said that when the kidney doesn't have enough water to flush out all the toxins that it has removed from the body, then the whole kidney is gonna get toxic and death happens fairly swiftly and painfully for the cat and the owners. When it comes to kidney disease, the prevention is water and the cure is water. And you need water to flush bad things from one place to another. So I thought about it. Well, how hard would it be to come up with, you know, a way to find out what cats really like in their water and then build it? and then take it out to some vets and see what they think. And of course, some owners. I went out to my shop and I started building prototypes to see if cats would like it and uh, it would really work. And then as luck would have it, my son asked me to take care of his cat. This is Jack. And so Jack wound up being the test kitty to make sure that where I was going was working out. Here's one of the first prototypes with Jack as the test kitty. And it was a nice oak frame one. It was pretty fancy. It was a pain in the neck to make. And uh, built this one for Jack to try out. And it was a wooden box that had a ultraviolet light in there. That would actually kill anything that was floating in the water. And then with all the filtration system and everything, the water that came out had no smell, nothing in there that would be objectionable to an owner or a cat. So I started the company and uh, we were doing well. Through a series of events, I met a great lady. That's Trisha. We started forming the company, making it work together. Fortunately, Trisha had her own cat. So Trisha, myself, and my son, when he had time, would help out the business, building products, assembling them, and getting, and talking to customers, because talking to customers is the greatest time of all. My family and I want to thank you for taking the time to view our website, which includes this video. As a person, I just wish that everybody finds somebody else that loves them as much as they love their animals, cats or dogs. Should you call, one of us will answer the phone and you'll know who it is. Thank you.